Well, here we are at Wayne's house. The rim fire has uh, grown from 16,000 acres yesterday to 53,000 acres today. Right? And Wayne, unfortunately, lives over here on this side of the lake. I'm going to get over here and just uh, take a quick look. Wayne's in the process of packing up because we know that very, very soon uh, he may get a mandatory evacuation order. But I want you to take a look at what is boiling up right behind here. This hot spot flared up yesterday. They came and they bombed it like crazy and worked on it and got it knocked down. And again this morning this thing flared up and it is nothing but an incredibly ugly looking cloud of smoke and fire. All right. Let's see if we can get a good view of this. And that pillar of smoke is running up into the atmosphere. All right. Anyway, so in case we, we needs to uh, throw everything in the truck and horse trailer and boogie on out of here, I'm here to give him a hand if necessary. Let's get over here and see if we can zoom in on some of this boiling smoke. All right. Up till just a few minutes ago, the uh, the, the the big bombers and uh, helicopters were bringing stuff in and dumping out on this area like crazy. So I hope they knocked it down enough to where it's back behind the fire line there someplace. In any case, that's what's going on this morning. Throw a minute. Moving on back down here. Mountain Lake Stables. Hopefully the uh, the fire isn't going to reach the stables. There's still some horses back over in the far corral there. Let's see if we can see horses there. see the horses. Nothing but uh, tankers with crews cruising up and down the roads here making sure that there's no little carryover flare-ups. And this is spooky. We're hoping Wayne doesn't have to giddy up but uh, we've got everything loaded here except the dogs so the minute they get the word why we can be out of here in about two minutes flat. All right. Okay, there's another small bomber right there. And he just made a drop. He's scooting back. It's amazing. Those bombers work so well on regular little grass fires and things down here. But boy, I tell you, you get a big one going and that DC-10 just makes those guys look insignificant. All right. They'll zip out and catch a little bit. Unfortunately, the clouds are, of smoke are starting to boil over towards us a little here, too. There's another plane just made a drop. And, yep, they are just working the heck out of this thing, and hopefully they'll get it whipped. Just had the spotter plane come through. They're diving into the uh, smoke right up here. And he's marking a spot. There's one of the smaller bombers. that are flying these attack bombers and the uh, spotter planes and C-130, the uh, somebody else dumping something. Oh, that was the white smoke. This is probably going to be the, uh, maybe the DC-10 coming in. I'm not sure. But the uh, spotter just runs white smoke along a, uh, a line 
that he wants the pilot to uh, to follow coming in for his run. out of the cloud of smoke here yet. It's kind of hoping we can see something. We'll keep this running just for a second. See who's coming in and who's not. But this thing is just boiling over there. I mean, this is a hot spot like you wouldn't believe. And, I mean, it sounds, well, having been to Vietnam, it sounds like Vietnam. Nothing but helicopters, planes, boiling smoke. concerned a horse can get. There's a couple of horses just grazing in the paddock. Alright, there's another plane just zipped through. Oh, there we go. There's the dump by the C-130. They've got several of these things doing their runs right here. Heck treetop level. Out he goes. Boy, I tell you, those, those are fascinating bits of technology we've determined. Okay, we see a helicopter about to make a dump down here. He's in through the trees, into the smoke. These guys fly right into the smoke. It's like, you know, whoa, you got to really be a good pilot to play that kind of a dangerous game. The thermals that are generated by this fire probably bounce them around pretty good. And then the minute they dump their load, of course, the, the uh, chopper or the, the plane will want to pop back up because it now weighs a heck of a lot less than it did when they started their run. Well, I have not seen the DC-10. We'll, we'll wait and see if that little puppy comes back. Wait a minute. I'm hearing, oh, there's the spotter plane right there. And he's, oops, when I point this thing into the sun, let's catch it here. Okay, now he's gonna make another run, so he's, he's spotting for, for somebody. We should see some white smoke it will come out of that and uh, show the attacking airplane exactly what line they want them to drop on. And okay, <clears throat> or maybe he's just taking a run over the fire to, uh, to see. and weaving around the smoke right now. Oops, I saw, I think, probably the C-130 just ducked down into the right-hand side of the cloud there. 
He may come up so we can see him. We'll wait and watch and see. There he comes. Right here. There's the big run right there. Look at the length of the drop on that thing. That's insane. Getting pretty close. Yeah. But that was that was good video. <laughs> that was good. That was perfect.